you had a survey on Instagram that I found fascinating and it asked your audience, do people know the real you? And half answered yes. How sad is that to you that only half answered yes? Do you know what? The truth is I'm not surprised. I feel like we've lived in a world that's constantly tried to get us to fit in. Like we were always told to fit in, stand in line. And then when you grow up, everything's like, oh, how do you stand out? And how do you, it makes no sense, <laughs> like, right? Like when I, I remember going to school and everyone's just like, stand in line, right? Fit in, like wear the same uniform. And then when you grow up, it's like personal branding, stand out, be yourself. And it's like, okay. So I'm not surprised that people don't know the real them because I think people are scared of being themselves because that may turn people off. Everything comes with connotations. We've been taught to be a certain way of what's normal and acceptable. All of those things. I remember the first time I wore robes on a street, right? It was like so scary. I was like, what if someone who knows me sees me? Like, I'm going to feel weird. And, I, and then you think about it and you're like, why? Like, you know, why do we think that? Because we've been, you know, all these conditionings have been placed. So for me, the big, th I'm not surprised by that is my first point. I don't feel surprised by it. And to those who answered no, what's your advice to them to, to, allow people to see the real you to be more authentic i think the first thing is you've got to get comfortable being you see no one will ever be comfortable with you being you if you're not comfortable being you and i think we first try and prove ourselves to other people so my favorite this is like i talk about this all the time it's it's probably one of my favorite pieces of insights it's from a writer named cooley in the 1900s and he said today i'm not what i think i am i'm not what you think i am i am what i think you think i am so what he means by that is we are living in a perception of a perception of ourself. If I think you guys think that I'm nice, then I feel nice. If I think that you think I'm weird, I feel weird. So we're constantly living through the perception of a perception of someone else. So my first thing is get away from that. Take that away, figure out how you feel about yourself. So I would say happiness is how you feel about yourself when you're by yourself, right? Like how do you feel about yourself when you're by yourself, when no one else is around? I and think start there. The when you mention that of yeah. these perceptions, the first thing I was thinking is how exhausting, yeah. right? To to, <laughs> to want to know where what I'm, what you're thinking, of, then what you're thinking of me, and then now I'm going to home. That just sounds like an exhaustive <laughs> well, we, day. And, and we've been friends for twelve years. Wow. You know, mm -hmm. these thoughts never cross our mind. It doesn't happen around friends, yes. right? When we're around the people that we have a relationship with already we're not constantly second guessing ourselves and feeling inauthentic. Mm. But when we're around strangers and we're mm. trying to impress them, instantly all of that self doubt creeps in and all of a sudden we put up this facade. So one of the easiest ways for me to fake it until I make it as I'm working through this process of trying to get more comfortable as an introvert, meeting more people and having to put myself out there is treat people like they're already your friend, mm -hmm. wow, right? Nice. Assume like that, that they already like you, start there that we're already friends, and then you don't have this inauthenticity that you're struggling with. I really like that, that's such a great tip, I love that. Yeah, and, and, and I think the other one is, like just get comfortable being you and figure out what that means. Like if you just observe, when do you feel uncomfortable? So I found this, when I go to an event that I'm not speaking at, that is not about what I do, but I'm attending, I've observed that I prefer finding a one-to-one -one conversation in a corner and going really deep with someone rather than trying to mill around the like popular circles and try and have and direct a conversation. It doesn't work for me. Mm -hmm. So now I can be myself by going, it's okay if I don't network at this event, if no one knows that I'm here, it's fine. I'm gonna go off and have a meaningful conversation with one or two people. And when you know that, you just oh, put the great. pressure of yourself and you're just like, yeah, like, I, I can't be, you know, and then, and then you can be, so it's just observing when you feel at your best and then figure out how to do that in each place. And that's going to take testing and time. Like you're going to go to a party, you're going to do something that's not you. And then you're going to go, okay, I'm not going to do that again. And we've all been in that position. But you got to do it once. You got to right? do it once. You have to do it once. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>